So this caterpillar here may look cute, but it's actually really toxic. All the spines on his body have uh, venom, and when you touch it, the venom is injected in your skin and causes a burning sensation. And well, who am I kidding? <laughs> they don't look cute at all. They look very evil, but that's why I like them. Look at this. So the good news is uh, I've been working in Cambodia for almost two months. And uh, because of that I had to leave some caterpillars behind. And I gave my parents breeding instructions on how to take care of them. To my amazement when I came back home, everything was still alive. So that means my parents, they saved these caterpillars from doom which is impressive considering they don't have any experience with insects although I did make very elaborate instructions and I'm very pleased with the result look how big they are this is exactly the way how I love my auto mirrors big and toxic really these moths are one of the most amazing species you can breed in captivity and I'm still not sure what species they are if are they Lara are they Aegeus? Are they Postalbia? Are they Artemeras nipelti? They all look so extremely similar to me. That's the problem. But uh, I had luck with pairing the adults. And I had luck with my parents not killing them when I was gone. Um, I do not recommend rearing them on Bramble. Because, uh, well, I didn't have many losses on Bramble, but they grow so damn slow on the stuff. However, it's uh, still winter here technically, and I do not have better plants, but if you can, please raise them on oak, raise them on ligustrum or cherry, but not Bramble, okay? Unless you have no alternative in winter. But uh, yeah, these huge, huge Automeros caterpillars are amazing, and I think. I think they will even get a little bit bigger before they pupate. So that's that's awesome. Thanks for watching my Ecuadorian Automeras caterpillars.